Today, we will be looking at electrolysis, in particular the electrolysis of dilute and concentrated sodium chloride solution, and the products formed from each reaction. Before we begin, you need to have some prerequisite knowledge. Firstly, you need to know the relative stabilities of both cations and anions. The greater the stability of the ion, the lesser the tendency for discharge. Note the relationship between the reactivity of metals and the relative stabilities of their ions, the more reactive the metal, the greater the relative stability of the ion. Next, knowledge of the setup of an electrolytic cell is required. Make a check against the checklist to ensure that you are familiar with the setup. Finally, understanding of redox is very important to understand the reactions that go on in an electrolytic cell. Recall that in oxidation, electrons are lost whilst in reduction electrons are gained. Also, realize that reduction always occurs at the cathode, while oxidation occurs at the anode. Now, let's begin by looking at the electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride solution. When looking at an electrolytic cell, the first step is to identify the electrodes and ions present in the electrolyte. In this case, the electrodes are platinum rods. In the electrolyte, there are Na plus and Cl minus ions present, and also H plus and OH minus ions from the dissociation of water molecules. The cations are attracted towards the negatively charged cathode, while the anions will be attracted towards the positively charged anode. Next, identify the discharge reactions that occur at each electrode. As electrons flow from the anode to cathode, a redox reaction takes place. At the cathode, H plus ions, being relatively less stable than Na plus ions, have a greater tendency to discharge. The H plus ions are thus selectively discharged over Na plus ions. The H plus ions are reduced to form hydrogen gas. At the anode, Hydroxide ions are less stable than chloride ions, hence hydroxide ions are selectively discharged over chloride ions. The hydroxide ions are oxidized to form oxygen gas. Observe that for every four electrons, two volumes of hydrogen gas and one volume of oxygen is produced. Hence electrolysis of dilute NaCl is equivalent to the electrolysis of water. In addition, as H plus ions are used up at the cathode, Relative concentration of OH- around the cathode increases, resulting in an increase in pH. Vice versa, pH decreases at the anode as OH- ions are used, and the relative concentration of H plus ions increases, causing pH to fall. The combined effect results in the overall pH of the solution being unchanged. Ok, let's now move on to the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution which is also known as brine. Similar to the electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride solution, the electrodes are platinum rods. Note that the concentration of Na plus and Cl minus ions are now much higher than before. At the anode, even though hydroxide ions are less stable than chloride ions, the chloride ions have a greater tendency to discharge over the hydroxide ions due to its high concentration in the solution. Thus, you can say that the chloride ions are selectively discharged over the hydroxide ions. The chloride ions are oxidized to form chlorine gas. At the cathode, the same reactions occur. The H plus ions are selectively discharged over the Na plus ions and are reduced to form hydrogen gas. This is because compared to H plus, Na plus ions are way too stable to be selectively discharged over H plus despite the high concentration. Observe that for every two electrons, one volume of hydrogen gas and one volume of chlorine gas are produced. As H plus ions are used up at the cathode, the concentration of OH minus ions in the solution increases relatively, resulting in an increase in overall pH. Hence, the Na plus and OH minus ions that remains in the solution form sodium hydroxide. The amount of hydrogen gas to the amount of NaOH to the amount of chlorine gas formed from this electrolysis is 1 is to 2 is to 1. In conclusion, for anions, consider their relative concentrations in the electrolyte before comparing their relative stabilities to decide which ion is selectively discharged. You need to be aware of the differences between the electrolysis of dilute versus concentrated sodium chloride solution. Quick recap. 
both have the same species of ions in the electrolytes but the concentration of Na plus and Cl minus ions in brine is much higher. At the cathodes, the same reduction reaction occurs. At the anodes, different oxidation reactions occur. The products form also differ, with the electrolysis of brine producing chlorine gas and sodium hydroxide.